Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video and today what I have for you guys is something that you guys said you would like to see as the next video on the channel. And I put up a poll a couple days ago and you guys voted on a mock showcase video. So here I am here to deliver and what I have is a mock that I've built. I actually built this a couple years ago but I still really do like it, the overall look of it and think it holds up pretty well to my standard of building today. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Now one thing I think is worth mentioning before we get into this is that I think that this very closely resembles a gorilla with the short legs and torso and the decently sized head and then these giant arms and hands. I think that that just really does have many features of a gorilla and I really do like that. Now even though when I originally made this I did not have that in mind. So now let's get into this. So now with these legs right here, you can see they're nothing amazing. Just use some slope pieces to kind of give that foot look and then the leg look right there. And using these joints that can actually move around in practically every single direction, which wouldn't really be accurate to how a real joint would look. But I think it looks and works well and is great for posing this mech. And then the torso, it's the same for the left leg as well. But, and then the torso is nothing amazing. You can see just some more slanted slope pieces there and there. And then the head right here, I'm going to take it off to show you guys. But it's just kind of your uh, a super simple, easy mech head. It does kind of remind me of the space sets from the 90s with the mechs they would have there. Just a really simple build for the head and a kind of blocky look. But you can see the mouth and the cheeks and the eyes and the kind of eyebrow look and then some ventilation on the top and everything like that. And unfortunately this cannot turn around. You can see right there I don't have the spinny piece up there to make it turn around. I think I had actually uh, added that once it didn't look all that great because the neck it, it stuck up from the body a good bit more than I wanted it to. But enough of that. The arms are I think the most impressive thing of this build. You can see right there I do have some slant uh, sloped pieces to kind of give a design right there and then these six by two bricks just hook onto there to kind of give a look and fill that up so that it looks a little bit better I think that those look really nice you can move these around as well they're just connected with a ball joint as well as the hands and you can't move them practically in every direction but you can do multiple scenarios so you could have him be like a ninja you could have him be reaching forward to claw someone with these giant claws which we'll get into in a little bit and yeah that is basically it for the arms now with the hands um you can see there i do have this kind of uh hit protection piece i guess over it that I think has a really nice overall look and if we take that off you can see I do have these three clawed fingers just hinged onto that piece right there, which I think do look really nice. And you can move them up and down like so, but they're not too much movability with this mock that you can obviously see. So that's basically it for this mock. And real quick, I'm going to give you guys a little montage showing you the different poses that this thing can go into because I think they look really great. And then we'll close out with this video. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So there you guys have my little mech mock. I hope you enjoyed that little montage of pictures of different poses that you can go into. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Epobabricks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.